As usual, a lot is happening on the Christian community social media pages. So today, we bring you guys highlights from everything that happened last week on the Gospel social media page. Subscribe as we proceed. On the 6th of October 2022, social media went a bit crazy with a sudden rumor that singer Frank Edwards had proposed to Pastor Paul Enetje's first daughter, Deborah Enetje. Honestly, if you all want to cook a rumor, try to make it a bit juicy, please. So apparently, Deborah posted a picture showing a ring on her finger and the next day we suddenly saw pictures and pairs of people claiming that she was engaged to Frank Edwards. Okay, this is the part where I laugh in Spanish because you guys are super funny. If they are going to get married, I think they are in the best position to make the announcement instead of a random Facebook post. Well, since a lot of you decided that you want to suddenly forget how the internet works, then that's fine. But bear in mind that Frank Edwards is not engaged to Deborah and Nature at all. He even came to Instagram and posted a disclaimer to the viral gossip. It's not every time you get to see a Nigerian pastor exchange words with users on social media. But on the 5th of October 2022, the founder of CCI Global, Pastor Irene, was in a bit of a word and tweet exchange with a popular twip. So one of the team members of Pastor Irene's church replied to his post with a feedback for a tax they had done in the church. So Pastor Irene was a bit irritated that the team member was bringing their complaint to the internet. So he made a warning and went ahead to block the person. Now, as you all know, Twitter is kind of like a toxic place where everyone is always angry. I mean, maybe not everyone, but they try to act angry sometimes. So another popular tweet quoted the tweet and went ahead to condemn what the pastor had done. Another person requoted and said that the pastor and his stands are always moving mad. Hmm, a bit too harsh if you ask me. She went on to say that imagine Jesus blocking him because of an inconsistency in his behavior. It is giving baby cult. Wow, strong choice of words. Mind you, this lady has in the past attacked some of Pastor Aaron's church members especially to miwa anyway pastor iran went on to reply again and said that he had the right to block anyone and she shouldn't imagine jesus but read the bible she replied again correcting the word he had misspelled and asked him why he was afraid of criticism and she went for that to say not everyone will like him so pastor iran replied again saying that this was a moment of honesty from her and she had a beef with him but that was okay he ended it with a tweet saying people want a pastor to be pushed around you block them problem you engage they start crying and he further said that not many pastors are as friendly as he is okay this part i will support fully because you won't really find pastors following social media pages online except pastors like pastor iran pastor bology and sometimes pastor jerry az anyway i think as christians we should always be prepared to show love to whomever tries to attack us online and offline many people reacted to pastor iran's tweet including joshua mike bamiloye who most times get his own share of attack every time on twitter about his belief the last time Ada Ae and Limo Blaze teamed up together, it produced amazing hit songs. And here we are again. These amazing gospel artists and songwriters are about to give us another song. They're gradually tilting towards their ma piano trend in the music industry, and we love to see this. I think it's great that Christians also have the Jaye Jaye songs too, so it lifts our spirit. While we wait for the full song to drop, they have released a TikTok sensation for us to vibe to. So head on to TikTok and Instagram and vibe to this new song. 
During the week, we saw legendary singer Chioma Jesus take us through her journey outside Nigeria. She was seen in videos posted on her Instagram page at the airport boarding. Apparently, she was flying out to attend an event in Zambia and she did not disappoint us as always with her elegant white dress. It's the majestical walk for me. And yes, Chioma Jesus is a 10. So guys, these are the highlights so far from the Christian community last week. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video and also turn on the post notification bell so that anytime we drop any video like this next Monday, you will get notified first. So until next time, God bless you.